what are your thoughts after that game? Well, uh, where do you start? I think as an advert for football, I think it had absolutely everything. You know, we played Sydney early in the season and it was a very good game of football. Um, but it wasn't like that here. It was passionate, there was emotion, there was a little bit of needle in the game. Obviously, our fans were absolutely amazing. Uh, they're desperate for us to do well uh, against a very good team. So, had a little bit of everything. You're used to uh, sometimes coming from behind, so to be uh, two goals up early was a, was a very different experience, maybe, of, of recent weeks. Yeah, without a doubt. Listen, if you go behind against a very good team, and, and we've done that um, too many times this season, I uh, challenged the players. We were quite happy to tactically slightly adjust the way we wanted to play, uh, that we have done, because last week I thought we had all the ball, but we lost the game of football, and no one really cares if you have loads of the ball if you lose the game of football. And Coming into Derby week, there's always a little bit of uh, you know, a, a tactical IQ for managers, and they have to find ways to win games of football. Um, so me and my staff looked at it, the players that we had available, you know, we had one or two ads as well, last minute decisions and tactically we had to be right against a very good team because even when we were right, which we were a lot of the time this today, this evening, they still managed to break us down as well because they got good players. So um, now the boys do deserve a lot of credit in there today. What about Scott McDonald? Obviously that's the reason you brought him in. It is, yeah, and I wanted a, a, a leader, more vocal leader as well. You know, I think um, the people you hear probably the most on the on the training field is me and Kenny. You know, because we've been there, we've done it, we've lived it, we've seen what you need to do. Um, and I challenge, we challenge the players every day to try and embrace moments like this. You know, when we're having a difficult run and we were, you know, three draws and three defeats is not great. Um, you find out about people. You find out about when the chips are down, who are the ones that want to stand up, roll their sleeves up. Not just when you're winning and you're winning consistently. It's easy to play. You know, but when you your back's against the wall, you find out a little bit about your character. And Scotty come in, he's a big voice, he's a big character. I, I love having big characters in my locker room. Did you find your, yourself under pressure also heading on into this game? Under pressure? Yeah. What do you mean? Just you mentioned that poor run of form, the six game yeah. winning streak. Did you did you feel Listen, like there was pressure? No, no, not at all. Pressure is not having a job. Pressure is not being able to live under a roof. You know, those are things of reality. And I say to the players, you do something you love. And you get paid for it. So don't let it pass you by. I'm the manager of the football team. I need to find ways to win games of football without a doubt. I'm not naive. Uh, I'll take the shoulder of the blame. I shoulder the responsibility. I'll overprotect them at times. Um, but there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes of this football club, which people don't get to see, which we're making massive strides. You know, and again, I'll just highlight the young players. Like some of these players who played in this derby game today are from our own academy and they're dealing with the best team in Australia for the last two years. So they deserve a lot of credit. As you said uh, before, the game had a lot of passion, emotion, and definitely a fair bit of needle. We haven't really seen that level of intensity from the Wanderers as much this year, or as much as we, we did tonight. What did you and, and Kenny say to them before this match? Well, nice to see you. I haven't seen you for a while. So, um, yeah, no, it's good. Big must be a big game. Um, to embrace it, to enjoy it. Don't let. Don't be sitting in the locker room after a game. You know, especially in front of our home supporters, and they turned out in thousands. And just think, I could have done more. I should have done more. You know, leave absolutely everything you have on that field. And I think they did that today. I thought the first half we were excellent. We really were. Then again, obviously some cracks appeared. You know, we conceded off a corner after two minutes and let them back in the game. But we we wobbled. We bent a little bit, but we didn't break. And then we got the third goal. And then obviously the penalty miss. And then they score. And then he hit the crossbar and things like that. But find a way to win a derby game and that's what we did and they they deserve a lot of credit the players but this isn't for the players this is for the fans this is for the supporters we know how much it means to them and they showed that after the game just again on Scotty Mack he talked about it a lot about his leadership uh, around the dressing room and his vocal presence as well yeah pretty good impact as well when he came yeah he did he's a terrific player you know you, know, you, you look at the best players in this league or the ones that make a big impact and they talk, you talk about the Sydney boy Ninkovic you talk about the boy Castro you talk about Diamante Age is just a number, it really is. And I said, bringing Scotty in, he's a terrific footballer, he understands the game, he knows what is required at certain moments. You know, when we're 3-1 up or 3-2 up with two or three minutes to go, he understands how to take a foul, he understands how to win a free kick. And that's how young players learn. Young players only learn from the experience and the, the ability of your senior players. So bringing him in here till the end of the season was a no-brainer for me.
beating the champions after a, a winless run. Do you feel like tonight could be a bit of a turning point? Yeah, listen, enjoy, I want them to enjoy it. I said it's for the supporters that there's, there's a lot of people that do a lot of work at this football club behind the scenes that probably don't get the public publicly the credit they deserve. There's a lot of things that go on behind this football club. We're a massive football club, we know that, but we want to be a massive football club that wins. So um, will it give us confidence? Yes. I, I think the emotion of the, the game, which had everything, will give us confidence. Um, but it's three points. It's bragging rights for the boys, for the fans, for the supporters. Um, and we move on. We move on to a difficult game next week.